our homes, our nation, all the things we believe in are in great danger. The second Red Scare was the anti-communist fervor that permeated American culture in the late 1940s and 50s, during the beginning of the Cold War. This period was also known as McCarthyism, after Senator Joseph McCarthy. Although espionage trials and congressional hearings were the most sensational manifestations of McCarthyism, the biggest impact on everyday Americans were the employee loyalty tests used widely across a large number of industries. Between 1947 and 1956, more than five million federal workers were screened, resulting in an estimated 2,700 dismissals and 12,000 resignations. Tens of thousands of civil servants endured investigations with written interrogatories, hearings, appeals, and months of waiting for a decision, sometimes without pay. McCarthyism's power weakened in the late 1950s, but the legacy was deeply felt. Many Americans hesitated to sign petitions or engage in any activism that might possibly be construed as controversial and trigger accusations of communism. Fewer people were willing to join voluntary organizations during the civil rights era. Segregationists such as Senator James Eastland and Alabama Governor George Wallace routinely linked race reform to communism. Many of the prominent leaders of the civil rights movement were investigated by the FBI. Former loyalty defendants, even those who had been cleared, lived the rest of their lives in fear that the old accusations would resurface.